Hey guys, so this is my second and hopefully last time trying to film this video tonight. Um, sorry that I'm I look like this right now, but it's nighttime. It's I don't know what time it is. It's like ten something, I think. It's ten forty, and Justin's working overnight tonight, so I'm kind of getting ready to go to bed. Um, sorry if I'm a little groggy tonight too. I haven't been feeling well today and I'm just really tired and want to sleep. Um, you're going to be seeing me in glasses from now on, so um, I got new glasses. My old ones broke and I need glasses for computer, reading, um, TV, and things like that. So, And I'm really happy that I got them because I've had terrible headaches every day from going on the computer and watching TV and reading. But anyways, so tonight I wanted to just do a quick Lush haul with you guys um, because I'm probably going to be using some of these products tomorrow morning in my bath and I wanted to show them to you. Here, maybe you can see them more. Um, before I use them. So, yeah. Let me see here. Let me get my... This is the second time I'm doing this and I'm still unprepared, so um, I am really, really groggy. So I'm just going to go in and just kind of get whatever is at the top, at no special order. Um, some of these things I'm not really too thrilled about just because the scents are a little different for me, but I'm going to use them anyways. Um, maybe I'll enjoy them more in the bath. But the first thing that I got is the Magic Holistic. And this one is huge. Like, my hands look huge on this screen, but they're really small. Um, and in my hand, it's... I mean, granted, I have small hands, but it's really big. Um, this is the one thing that I'm kind of hesitant about. And this is probably what I'm going to use tomorrow just to kind of get it done and over with. Um, but it smells really herbal. This is a Halloween item. I forgot to tell you, um, I ordered these in the Lush UK chat party that they had where they were launching the fun, um, and they did some of the Christmas products for like a day, and also they did like the the Halloween retro, retro items. I think they're going to be having more Halloween items. These are just um, online retro, so I'm looking forward to seeing what else they have. So yeah, it took a little bit longer to get to me than normally. Um, I usually buy from the UK anyways, and it usually gets here within six days. This got here um, quite a few days later than that, so no big deal. But anyways, so yeah, this is the one I'm going to use tomorrow just to kind of get it done and over with. When I smell this, I smell like dill in the, in the background of it, like, like dill pickles. I don't know if there's dill in this. I should have looked up the ingredients um, of what are in these the Halloween products so that I could tell you more about what the scents are, but I don't really like this smell. But it's supposed to be really cool in the water, so I'm excited to see that. I probably won't purchase it again, though. And then the next thing that I got is another Halloween retro item. This is the Jacko bath ballistic. My lighting's terrible right now because it's, it's just nighttime and um, we don't have any lights in our living room besides a lamp, so. But this one, um, it smells like cinnamon. It just smells like straight cinnamon to me. And it smells really, really good. This look on my computer, it looks like an old, old bath bomb. Like it's really crumbly and it's really bright orange in, in real life, so. But this is going to be really nice. This, there's nothing else to say about this one to me other than the fact that it smells like a cinnamon stick. And I really like cinnamon, so I'm excited to use that one. It's quite small. It's very thin. Um, so I'll probably use this all in one bath. And then, I guess I'll go with all the Halloween items. The next thing I got is the, the Witch's Ball. Um, this is a bubble bar, and mine's kind of weird because it has these, like, star anise 
is it aniseed or star anise? I don't know, something um, in it. But mine has like one here, let's see, here, here, at the bottom. So it's going to be interesting to try and cut this. But this is very herbal too, but in a very good way. It smells like, um, there's a lot of eucalyptus in there, and it smells like Vicks. To me, it smells like Vicks. Um, and it's very, like, uh, it clears your sinuses. So, I'm probably going to use this on a day where I, I get a cold or something, because, you know, it's getting colder out. It's inevitable, it's going to happen. And this is just going to be really nice for that. So, it's a really nice purple color. Again, you can't see the color on my screen very well because my lighting is terrible but there's also um, see you can see all those bits on there that's oregano <laughs> so you do, you do kind of smell oregano in it but it's not overpowering or anything I know these used to come like with crazy crazy amounts of it on there like this whole you this whole thing would be completely covered like you probably couldn't really see much of the purple but I really like this. I wish I would have got more. Oh, jeez. Um, maybe if they still have them or if they have them in the U.S., I'll buy some. And then the last uh, Halloween item I got was the Something Wicked This Way Comes bath melt. And I'm not going to take it out because it completely melted on my fingers um, when I did this video the last time. And it's still melting on my fingers through the package. Um, but it smells very gingery and maybe a little jasmine in there. Yeah, it kind of it smells herbally as well. It's really pretty purple. I think it's gonna be really moisturizing because of how um, melty it is. Let me see if I can show you. You can see it on there, but also let me see. Oh come on. I'm horrible with this new computer. Oh, there you go. You can kind of see it. Yeah, it's really oily. So I probably won't use this whole thing in the bath. I'll probably use half of it. And so that's it for, that I got for the Halloween stuff. And then they, like I said, they did have a few Christmas items um, out for a day. And I got a 100 gram piece of snow cake soap. Because I didn't get any of this last year because I didn't like the almond scent. I didn't like marzipan scents. This is this smells like like almond icing, like marzipan. Um, it's very nice. It is very, very nice. But I hated that scent last year. And then somebody for Christmas, my brother-in-law, bought me like a set of bath things. Um lotion and shower gel and stuff that was all like marzipan scented and I used it because I don't like to waste things so um, as I used it the scent really grew on me and then um, I was really upset that I didn't, didn't get any snow cake soap so I was really excited when they had it because I wanted to get a small piece before um, Christmas so I could see if I liked it and then I do really like it so I'm probably gonna get a big chunk uh, around Christmas time yes mmm smells so good and it's gonna be really creamy it's very white creamy soap and it's kinda soft too and then the last Christmas thing that I got is the Bouche de Noel it's a facial cleanser that they have only around Christmas time and it says an edible smelling tremendously nour nourishing facial, facial scrub Take a pea-sized amount, mix with water, then massage all over your face. Rinse off for perfectly soft winter skin. So, um, unlike some of their other cleansers, which tend to be a little bit more drying and soaking up of oil, like in the summertime I get really, really oily skin. So, I tend to use like their Dark Angels and um, Herbalism and stuff. But in the wintertime... I get these dry patches of skin that just like flake. It'll be like a circle or just, just like a patch and like especially in here and it just like I'm always peeling pieces of skin off my face. So I decided to get this because I didn't get any last year. I wasn't really big into um, any other Lush Facial Cleansers other than the, the Dark Angels. So 
I really wanted to get this this year and I was excited that they had it out early for that one day so I could um, try it before Christmas to see if I like it because I'm probably going to get another one and freeze it. But this smells like fruitcake. Um, it smells like just like a traditional fruitcake. If you can see inside, let me try and get, I'm horrible with this camera. There is seaweed up here, right here. And then down in here there's like berries and stuff. And I did use this once and it is very, very moisturizing. I didn't really need to use that much um, moisturizer afterwards, especially for the daytime because you're going to be putting makeup on and stuff. At nighttime I tend to put more moisturizer on. But it smells just like a, a fruit cake. It smells actually really good. I want to eat it. Um, but I did notice that when I smelled it, I was like, mm, it smells like kind of like there's an alcohol in it and there's brandy in it. So it has ground almonds, fresh satsumas, dried cranberries, cocoa butter, brandy, almond essential oil, um, cedarwood oil, seaweed. Yeah, so there's, there's a lot of good stuff in here. Oh, this smells so good. So I'm thrilled with this. And then the last thing that I bought, um, which was one of the main reasons why I purchased anything, was because they were having their lush, fun um, chat party, which was really fun. You got to see, like, the factory and stuff. They did, like, a... They brought the cameras in there and stuff. But so this one is the, the blue fun, and it's really big. It's 200 grams, I believe. It doesn't say. No. I think it's 200. Yeah, it's 200 grams it says on here. But this is the one. It says, relax and feel ready for sleep when you wash with this mix of lavender, Moroccan chamomile, and chamomile blue essential oils. The perfect bedtime bath. And so this one, to me, smells just like the dream cream. And that's my favorite cream from Lush. So I was, I was a little hesitant on getting this one, but I think this is a perfect one for me because I, I love dream cream. I love the smell of it. And I have trouble sleeping at night. So I figured I'm going to get one just to try um, to see how they are. I'm going to get this one because it's going to have a little bit more um, usefulness to me. And it is. It's very squishy. Like I can put my fingerprints in there. And it seems like it's going to be really fun. What you can do with this is, um, you know, you can make things out of it. It's like Play-Doh. So really you're supposed to get, like, different colors and then make things out of it. I just got one to try it. And then you can use it as shampoo. You can use it as, like, soap form. Or you can use it as, like, a bubble bar. So I'm probably just going to cut pieces off and use it as a bubble bar. And maybe as soap. I probably won't use it as shampoo. Um, maybe I'll try it once or twice, but mainly just for a bubble bar, I think. But it smells really good, and I will probably do a review on this just because it's so new. And, you know, all the other stuff that I got is pretty much bath stuff. And I think, I don't know. If you guys want reviews on anything, just let me know. But I probably will do a review on this because I just think it's really cool. And, uh, yeah, this was actually kind of expensive. This was £4.17. Um, that's was like the VAT taken off. Uh, in the UK, they pay £5 for it. So I will definitely let you guys know how that works. And then I did ask for a few samples. Um, I asked for the sea vegetable soap because... I smelled this in the store when I went on vacation, and I remember that I liked it, but I didn't remember what it smelled like. And um, I heard that this one can be kind of drying on your skin, so I wanted to try a sample of it before I bought it. But it does, it smells like the sea. Um, it has lime in it, and lavender, and sea salt, and seaweed, which is seaweed is very good for your skin. Um, you do smell the lime, so you do smell citrus. I don't smell much of the lavender. Maybe a tiny bit, but it smells really good. And then I also asked for the black stockings. 
This is like a massage bar, but it's supposed to like tint your skin a little bit. Um, doesn't really smell like much, but I, I wanted to try this because I was concerned of how dark it is and how pale I am. So I want to make sure that it's not going to look too unnatural. And the last two things are the Ghost Shower Jelly. I wanted to try this because it's a very floral scent. It um, smells like lilies. And uh, I really like this. So if they have this again, I will probably buy it. But the last time I looked, it wasn't online anymore. And then I asked for Handy Guru Goo because um, it's like a thick thick hand cream and it's getting colder out and I'm looking for a new hand cream. The only thing with this is like it doesn't smell of much. I guess it smells kind of herby but I don't know if you can see. No you can't. There's little bits in here like little bits of things and I don't know what they are. I don't know if they're supposed to be in here but even when I put it on my hands they like they're left on my hands and it takes kind of a while to get them to to kind of like rub off and fall off and I don't if you guys know what the little bits are in here and if it like they're supposed to be in here let me know because I'm kind of hesitant on buying this now but yeah so that's everything that I got um if you guys have any questions just comment or inbox me um and I will do my best to let you know they are I believe they are having more Halloween products coming out. I think these are just retro, um, limited edition retro for online. But, yeah, so if you guys want to see reviews of anything, let me know. Um, I'm going to be having more videos coming up. Not Lush videos, but um, some other hauls from different companies. I'm just waiting on them to get shipped. They haven't even shipped yet, so I don't know when I'm going to get those. And we are going to see our family on the... Um, 10th, 11th, and 12th. So just stay tuned for some more videos and thank you for watching and don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe.